very hype on game number one. John, you've seen these drafts. What are you thinking? Who did, he did come out with the better draft in your opinion. I mean, just looking at the Thunder Waken draft, it is... It's bot lane, bit of a chase. Matthew gonna get taken down by Yuraki. First one to go their way. Tiger, he does get traded here by Sacred. But it's still going to be a very good trade for Yuragi. Getting great spell use out to clear out the wave and get some decent harassment off as well. And th the Tiny does come in line fast. Mid lane, that's a nice avalanche into the toss up. EZM, he's going to very far and try and survive through this into the lift. He does survive. Choose there in time. Dark Mago, he should just be fine to back off, but the imprisonment is there. Oh, Picard. Still Picard now. He'll teleport in. BZM, he will get through the tree line. Can they take him out, Dark Mago? He's dropping low himself, but he's still going for the oh. kill. Toss up, is it enough? BZM finally goes down. Oh, just barely. Dark Mago is able to get himself out. Very nice TP rotation here from Picaz. Wait for the BKBs before fully committing, and it does give them good wave clear under one to kind of handle that split push from Picaz as well. They're going to try and go into Dark Mago. Astro Imprisonment not going to be there, and now the bushwhack to turn around as Dark Mago will go for Ooh. the toss back in onto Matthew and Tiger. He might get punished here. Astro Prism will be out on Dark Mago, but it's not going to make the difference. And now Pandamu does rotate as well. They'll drive the BZM. He's a bit of a harder, harder target, but it may not matter. He's still going to drop. Matthew able to take a double kill on the hood because even Chu shows up. On the Rubik, he may have just fed another kill back the way of Thunder Awaken. Into the Roshan pit he goes. He activates Roshan. Chu, can you actually get a deny off here? Not quite, Dark Mago. Able to secure the kill on the Tiny. And that's three kills to go back the way of Thunder Awaken. Nice yeah, you see him rotating with his team once he does have that available. Still for now again, bit of a quiet period, but a nice avalanche in onto Tiger. But where's the toss back? Oh. Whoops. They end up missing this one around. In fact, now the turnaround onto Dark Mag on an arena round. ATF, he's there. Oh. Toss out, but they do take him down. Hammer dropped by BZM and ATF. Great rotation. Really paying off for the side of OG. Yeah, they, not the easiest kill in the world, but the avalanche toss combination, you might have enough as the tumblers are going to be there. No astral prism in time. And with the sharpshooter, they should have more than enough damage. Very, very important kill there for the side of Thunder Awaken. Very exposed Please. once this tower falls. But without the arena, or at least without the TP from Marl, oh, he's, he's hitting back. Over. It's going to catch Chu. ATF, he's there. He's got two on the arena. Pandamu and Matthew both in trouble as the avalanche going to land from Chu. Lock him down, take him out. ATF once again setting up for the side of OG. Maybe Pakaz isn't as ahead as you'd want him to be. He does manage to push out top. So that's already one tier, one down. Bottom lane, Yuragi. He'd be a massive pick off if they can secure, but Yuragi, he's going to go for the fight. Meanwhile, that die triangle two is going to go down to Pandamu. Can they keep going? BZM, he'll go for the chase into Dark Mago. Instead, Panda, he might be targeted by BZM, but the fire blast is there. Bakas, he's going to rotate in. BZM, he'll drop the hammer, but it's not going to matter. Tiger, he'll go for a Viper Strike. Dark Mago, can he get himself out with the TP? Oh, yes, he can. He'll be just fine. Thunder Awaken, a three for one trade. They don't find Yuragi, but they still find a great trade for themselves. Yeah, gonna have the high ground advantage anyway, but Yuragi eventually gonna see the Hoodwink will try. Lift will be there. Matthew, Boundless Strike does connect, they'll take him out. Nice little pick up there for the side of OG. Yeah, it's a nice pickup and it's a nice spell steal. A free bushwhack for true. That can turn these fights. Nice deny on the invis. Dark Mago still going to be able to run his way out anyway. ATF not able to get in range in time to go for the arena. Meanwhile, Pandamu going to cut them off here on the Ogre all by himself. Oh. In they go, though. A massive avalanche toss combination, but it's not enough. Dark Mago, he'll get caught out in the arena, taken down. Now Sacred, he'll try to man up, but it's not going to be enough. OG. In they go, Pandamu, he'll be the third target. Bushwhack will land, Yuragi on a killing spree. Great team fight for the side of OG. Keep in mind, Yuragi does pick up the Maelstrom now, so a bit more bonus damage on his end of things, but a great Bushwhack out into the tree line. Sharpshooter, it should land perfectly. They should have the damage output, and they will. Matthew, just no hesitation, going for the blind Bushwhack and landing it perfectly. And one defensive ward up top, but not much really to watch that. Two, lift up, ATF, he'll go for the arena. Avalanche was there. Can they get the damage up? But it does seem like they can. Dark Mago, he'll drop a Picaz. He's going in with his BKB. 1v5 here for Picaz. There goes Tiger. Wukong's command out. Picaz, can he get out? Yes, he can. Still OG. 
They do get the advantageous team, but there was a buyback here from Dark Mago. A sacred's gonna drop. Great pickups here for OG as Dark Mago. He just bought back. On that tiny, he needs to back his way out of there. Picard, he'll TP back in. Amar, he'll hold the shield up. They won't have the damage for the Mars right now. They will keep trying with the Avalanche. It's not gonna land. Back in oh. the tiny, they lock him down. Can they get the tie back? Bravo spring in. Yuragi, he'll try for it. A nice toss back though. Not allowing Yuragi to get the damage he needed. So the tiny. Done the NP go. is still decent. They do smoke oh, up though. Here we go. Five on five smoke situation. Into the mid river they go. It's BZM. He's going to have his smoke broken. Dark Mago. He gets the avalanche off. Matthew jumps in. But a great pushback out from oh. two. Locking him down. BZM already onto a double. They'll at least find the Aegis, but what does it matter? With the buyback on both supports, but do they find anything out of this? Dark Mago, another toss back. They at least find ATF for Yuragi. He'll force the fight. Wukong's command out. Dark Mago, he might just drop, and he does. Sacred chaining forward. Where's he gone though? He will go down. BZM finds another successful team fight for the side of OG. Oh man, it, it looked a bit dicey. Getting the Aegis is nice, but you need those kills. Do you lock down BZM? Four staff away, however. He's gonna be fine for now. In fact, BKB popped. They'll go for another team fight. Panzamu, he'll die back immediately. Lots of Picars. BKB is there. Trying to chase BZM, but BZM's just fine. Picars now needing to back his way out. The BKB will wear off, but the chase is still going. OG, do they have detection? The dust, it doesn't connect. So Picars, he's gonna be all right. They do smoke up. Double damage is available, though. On the Monkey King right now, I believe. So it's going to be a hell of a lot of damage here for Yuragi. They're going to run right into him. Yuragi. Oh, what a bounce oh. strike into the arena. Perfect setup for OG. They just get wiped. Oh, oh you love to see it. The dream for Yuragi. They ran right into his loving arms, John. That Looks like Thunder Awakened. They've seen enough. They'll back their way out. It's only Panda Moo has been left behind down in this bot lane. ATF might still be able to find him though. They make the blink in, they will catch him. It's something, John. Not the greatest kill, but it's something. Yeah, you, you'll take it. You know, it's a freebie. Ooh, you know. Yuragi having a look around, scouting for cars. He doesn't know the balance is oh. there. Spear to follow up. They'll lock him down. And there's no way up in this one. Picard tries to man up, and it's not going to work. Him having no buyback it's means there's buyback. likely no high ground defense. He's 200 gold short jump. In they jump. Dark Mago gets caught out. Lift is there. Matthew, can he really save? Not quite. They'll take down the tiny. Onto Sacred. The Timber will make his way out. But in they go for that mid rats. They want the objective. Still BZM. Oh. Gonna get tossed back. Hurricane Pike out. Yuragi back in. Onto Dark Mago. He wants a tiny. Meanwhile, Sacred being controlled up by the support Viper. Might just drop, but we'll go for the TP out. And should be just fine, but no ATF. He he found a spear, cancel the TP. Meanwhile, Dark Mago still trying to back off the secret. Somehow still alive. Dark Mago, he'll make the jump back in, back in but a nice lift up too. He's there. Dark Mago dropping oh. too low. Might just drop and does go down. That'll be a tieback for the Tiny. 100 seconds without him. Is Pandamu also going down. The mid rack's completely open now for OG. Key here is from Thunder this time around though, so they will have the option to fight again. ATF. He'll make the blink in. Dark Mago, Sacred, they're both gonna get caught out. Sight the vice, lock the timber down. He's gone. And so is Panda Moon. Two down on Thunder Awaken. Three strength heroes. Uh oh. But he's just way too tanky. They're going for tier fours. Towers. They want the five axe out from Sacred, and they might just get it. Sacred, still 49 seconds away from respawning. The Ogre has no buyback available. One T4 tower going down now. OG going for another. Dark oh, Mango, hex. he's jumped in with the sight of Vice. BZM locks him down. They even found another. Matthew being caught out. In fact, that's the cars. Oh, the Prophet. He'll buy back immediately, but the Ancient, it's completely exposed now. Going down. OG, do they go for the kills? They will try. The Ancient's just going through his buyback, or rather, tie back is there. Picard is gone. GG is called. OG, able to take game number one against Thunder Awaken. They could still pull this, uh, pull this comeback off, try to force to a game number three, John. What are you thinking about these drafts? It gets Pandamu and Picard. I think the panel kind of already mentioned it. Oh, never mind, Chu. Bot lane in trouble. The chase is on. Sacred. Can he get it? Yes, he can. 
First blood this time around to go the way of Thunder Awaken as they do end up finding the clockwork. You Double run. damage to go the way of BZM is now for cars in trouble, but ATF won't be able to go too far. Still mid lane, Dark Mago gets zipped on. You've got the IO there to help out. BZM, can he keep going? He'll zip onto Panda Moo. It's not going to be enough though. In fact, Chunel, he's the one in danger. Zip back in, however. They'll find the AA. They've got the damage. Panda Moo will drop. They won't quite find B, rather, they won't quite find the Tiny, but what does it matter, John? Want. Any it, it's pretty scary for this kind of lineup to go fast. Power runes again, Cogs are there, BZM will make the jump in, but Power Rune, well, it's going to be top side. Instead, Matthew, he will get jumped. Here comes Yuragi, a nice cookie Chu, he will drop. Dark Mago, going to be just fine. So Chu, he will sacrifice his life. Power Rune does go the way of TA anyways. It was up at top lane, and I believe it was the AA who took a regen. So nobody really winning out in terms of that. You know, Panda Boo, or rather Panda Moo, indeed did, in did, did take it. Stop lane, ATS. Onto Picars. It's a lot of damage onto that Morphling. Picars! Oh my goodness. Oh, he had the waveform but doesn't end up using it. Maybe thinking he could fight back. Tips out to ATF. Onto Sacred they go. Bot lane, Sacred. He's got no help around. Uh oh, Sacred, he's gonna try to run Dark Mago, he'll make the rotation in, but there's too much damage. The Kunkka eventually will drop. As Dark Mago comes in to try and help out, but John just doesn't have enough to really get anything done. No. Dark Mago should be able to close the gap here with the Avalanche. The pig stick will be there, but it won't matter. The Ice Blast does connect. Do they have the damage? ATF, he'll go for a run, and in comes the backup. OG, they will take down the Razor, but they will punish the side of Thunder Awaken for even trying. Dark Mago, he's going to drop a nice Avalanche, but he's surely... Oh, he's not gone. Chu gets it done anyway. Nice relocate out. The cars will be able to find the clockwork. A two for two trade in the end. Who does that actually favor though, John? I think you but again, that's you throwing your combo onto one hero. When the relocate comes in, you're gonna have more on top of you, and that makes things a lot tougher. Kisses are there. They'll try to secure Chu with the Ice Pass to fly in as well, and that should be enough damage. Chu, he thought about the hook shot, but won't bother trying. She does get taken down. S support pick up here for Thunder Awaken, but again, right now, any kill's a good kill here for this dire side. Yeah, you're still pretty happy with just finding something, getting your spells on cooldown, and making some magic. Jump in. Dark Mago, very nice kill. Finds Tiger, but it's not worth it if it costs its own life. His team is going to be there to back him up, but do they actually have enough? Dark Mago, he just melts. Oh, to Matthew, they want another. And this Snapfire, not going to last very long. They might just dive the tier one tower. Matthew's gone. Oh, God. Can they keep going for more? There goes your T1, Pantamu, he just gets ripped to shreds by Yuragi. BZM on a triple, Chu, he'll hook shot. Bit of an illusion there from BZM getting in the way. Maybe have to report the Storm Spirit later on, John, but for now a great team fight for OG. Yeah. At least be able to purge off the silence here from the Storm. It's still not really going to mean enough to be able to fight back as Tiger now, mid lane, does at least go get caught oh. out, but a nice tether away, still the Avalanche. It's going to get a done. BZM looking to punish onto Dark Mago. Will do count the Ice Blast, and in goes AZM oh. into the hot shot. Chu just cuts them off, take him out. Panda has gone. Matthew, he's not safe either. On the snap fire, he'll try to run, but there's no running. OG will find three for one, only losing the IO. Thunder Awaken is still just grouping up around that mid-tier 2 tower. Sacred, he's going to run right into Chu. This is not what they want right now. Sacred being caught out. Look at the damage from Yuragi. Sacred almost down. Ice Blast down. Is it going to matter? Not quite. Thunder Awaken, they need to run. Get out of there. It's not safe. This is OG's home now. Because... He'll keep trying to get himself out and should be just fine oh. as now Dark Mago with the turnaround. Oh. BZM! Oh, he's not going to drop the Aegis. He'll move right back in. He does not give a crap, John. In fact, they will eventually at least find the Aegis. But what does it matter? He set up a team fight. Yuragi, he'll take down Matthew on the backside already, so no kisses available on Yuragi. He wants a bit more. He's looking to move back in. Picard, oh, hook shot. It's off the mark. Thunder, looking to try and turn. It's not a successful fight, it doesn't seem as sacred now. Being jumped off by ATF into the cocks, they go. Dark Mago in trouble. A nice Ice Plus at the very least. Is it gonna matter? It doesn't seem like it's sacred. He's trying, he's trying to fight back, but might just drop here to ATF. They do find Chu on the clockwork. 
but it is not a good trade whatsoever. Yuragi now going oh. for more into the meld. They'll toss him back right into the arms of Picard. Maybe they can find the TA, and they will. That's a nice pickup for TA. His ATF, he will back his way out. But Thunder Awaken, they do show signs of life. May get spotted. OG still wrapping around the long way. Rocket Flare gonna give the vision. Oh. Hookshot is there. Both supports being caught out, and they're just gonna get melted. The boat does fly in. They'll try to fight back here. ATF dropping low. Tiger, he will eventually drop down on the IO. But it seems like TA need to back their way out. It's still a two for one trade so far, but sacred. Is he manning up too much? He definitely is the conquer. He's gonna drop us down, Matthew. He will go down as well. The cars on the morphling. He's a big target, but he's going right down. The waveform out. Not dead yet. Dark Mago. Nice avalanche. He'll try to turn this one around. Uragi, Uragi now. He's in trouble. He'll go down. Thunder awaken. Fire Fighting back, showing signs of life as ATF. He'll be all right. Is Ooh, they might have the low ground disadvantage, Picard. He's going to move his oh. way up right into OG. They'll see the Morphling, but they will not make the jump. Chu just trying to get some vision down, but the rush is there. Dark Mago, no hesitation. In with the Avalanche Toss, we'll find one. Meanwhile, BCM, however, he's got the AA locked down. Can he secure? He can. That's one, but Picard, oh. he gets BCM down. Oh, they've got the Storm. It's a great start for Thunder Awaken as now they've found Tiger on the IO. That'll be another. Need to maybe oh, stop Lamar from zapping away. Here we go again. OG, Dark Bago, he'll break the smoke. No detection to spot this tiny out though. They will at least land the plasma field. Sentry Ward down, Dark Mago still fine. Has their help. BZM, hook shot, not gonna land. Still a oh? nice cox out. Matthew, he's the one caught, but not down yet. In fact, he'll sacrifice his life. Thunder Awaken, they do not want to force the fight like this. They'll let still got the cars around here, John Sacred, he is scouting out. Roshan still dropping very, very low. Oh. Dark Mago, he'll make the jump in. They do find the clockwork. That might be one down two. Still alive, Dark Mago. He's forced to pop the BKB and run. Yuragi right behind. Dark Mago for now. Oh. He's fine with the hog shot. Two. He finds him. Ooh, where's the follow-up damage? It's not gonna be there. Meanwhile, Picard's 1v4. He'll wait for him out. The clockwork still going, still alive. Surely goes down. Picard's in the meantime, dropping low. Can he make it out? He can. Sacred, however, he cannot. A one for one, Roshan still available and a double damage rune being spawned up. Oh. Well, through the dire side, Matthew may get spotted. That's a great start if they find the Snapfire. ATF, who are you going for though? Hookshot is there. That's a great hookshot into the cogs into the staircase. Picard, he'll at least find Chu. They do also find Tiger and Sacred down. Dark Mago onto ATF. They've got the Razor. Do they have the damage though? They do have the Morphling still going, but ATF just manning up, still going for the team oh. fight. Meanwhile, BZM. Still trying to fight that snap as Dark Mago. Still going, Picard. Can he do this? What? Not quite. Dark Mago, however, he does end up fighting Yuragi. A very back and forth team fight. Who actually won this one, John? Thunder Awaken, they will not make their way over quite yet. Sacred, very so close to ATF, you can almost smell him right now, Sacred. Hookshot is there too. What an initiation. A great one. In fact, BZM right in. Do they have it? Yeah, they do. They've got the conquer. Sacred's down. Yuragi, he's on a Dark Mago. They want that tiny. He's not dead yet. However, Picard, he'll make the jump back in onto ATF looking for a trade. High five up, but it's not going the way of ATF. The Morphling still has the way for Matters Dark Mago. Back in with the Avalanche with the toss. One for one. Onto the IO. Tiger's gone as well. Yuragi, he'll be able to blink out for now. TP away. We'll be just fine. A successful team fight for Thunder Awaken. Thunder Awaken still remaining in position for this Roshan fight. They'll go for the five man smoke. Into the triangle. They're looking for that radiant jungles. The rocket flare again, giving the information away that Thunder Awaken are not in the pit right now. And OG, they immediately retreat, knowing that there's probably a smoke going. Oh. But there's a counter smoke. A 5v5 engagement. Here we go. Yuragi, he does put out Dark Mago. Backs his way out. Hook shots there, too. He's right in. They've got the conquer. In fact, no, they don't. The four stuff. We'll save the day for now, too. The only. Drop one dropping for now, the Ice Blast is there, Amar, he'll get jumped on by the Morphling, disarms there however, they can't buy back in fact, never mind, they can, they'll find three for their trouble, Yuragi still trying to run, Dark Mago, he'll let him go, they just want the Roshan. No contest, Thunder Awaken, they might just go high ground as well, again the Age is still in, in for the side uh, of the Morphling, is BZM, uh, huh? he's out of mana! BKB up, trying to run, but Picard, he's got the Eye of Scott, he's slow, BZMO! Oh boy! 
He's got five back. It's all right. He's got five back. Yeah, he, he can come back in, but this is not the way you want to extend that buyback. VZM a bit of a, maybe a bit cheeky with that TPR. Dark Magos in, they've got the momentum now. ATM turning into ATM. BZM, he'll buy back onto the clockwork. They'll lock down BZM again on the storm. He'll zip out. Meanwhile, two already going down on the clockwork. He's got buyback available as well. Yuragi, he's going to try and mount up against Picasso, but it's not working out for cars. He will not drop. ATF, meanwhile, will get relocated out as BZM. Still getting the team fight going. They'll have to reset. But Thunder Awaken, they're still healthy. They've still got the Aegis. They still want to fight. In we go again. BZM into oh. the backside. He's got the axe in the vortex. Oh. Into the hook shot. Up to three. Maybe they've got it. Dark Mago still trying to fight. Nobody down yet. Meanwhile, Pakaz takes down Tiger. Yuragi trying to get the jump done, but Pakaz finds oh. another. Chews down onto the high ground. They go. Yuragi, he's in big trouble. No strike is there onto Pakaz. But it's a 5v3 situation. Two heroes down without buybacks on the side of OG. Thunder Awaken, such a rough start for game number two, but they make the comeback happen. Zip in BZM, he'll only fight one this time around. It'll be Dark Mega, but the follow-up damage is just not there. Reset once again. Meanwhile, Yuragi X is out. They've got the TA. That's the big oh, one. No. Dark Mago Zip. Thunder Awaken. It might be it. Zip in again, BZM, he'll keep trying. Onto the snap fire. That'll be one down, but buyback's immediate. ATF trying to buy back, but the Ancient, it's exposed. Thunder awakened. It's not over until they say it's over. We're going to our game number three. And what a series this has been so far, John. What a series it's been so far. What a comeback from Thunder Awaken. Yeah, that, that was a ridiculous game. OG had this fantastic start. They managed to build up well. They had an overwhelming lead. I mean, he was an absolute monster in the last game around. Like, we didn't have too much faith going through that early to mid game, but... Uh, yeah, and this is going to be an issue for Thunder down bot. Every single time Metamorphosis is down, Amara should be able to get some good damage ATF. off and get some good zoning. One more hit will do it. Fisher is there, however. He'll try to oh. fight back, but it's not going to be enough. The disarm was not there in time. ATF, he'll get the tip from Pakaz. But now a very good start for Yuragi as well. Currently 20 CS, 5 denies. Sacred just behind him in 17 and 4. They do move in. Tombstone is dropped. They've got the chains out. Sacred dropping a little bit low, trying to go after the Tombstone. But Tiger, he'll move in. Tombstone is going to be fed back the way of the Mars, but they do secure the kill. Yuragi able to get the damage off. Meanwhile, bottom lane, ATF dropping extremely low, but not quite low enough to take down. Because River, Chu. He spotted Matthew. He'll go for the lift up into Sacred. The arena will be dropped. No hesitation. They want sh that shake gun. They'll find him. Chu, no way to survive through that. So Thunder, nice little pick up for themselves. OG realizing there's just no way to fight this one out. Does back their way up. But now maybe once the shake is up, you group up knowing the arena is down. In fact, they group up before that. Tombstone drop. They're going to find the Dazzle. Panda Moo, he'll go for the Shallow Grave and try to at least delay this. Go after the Tombstone, but it is going to drop. OG. Able to find themselves a support trade. Yuragi, lift it up. Matthew will cop the chains. He won mid lane, Sacred. Gonna find Tiger. In fact, they found a second. BZM does have the Yules. Is gonna be all right for now. Oh, we'll blink out, no, but yes. the X is there. Drag him back. BZM somehow still alive. The poison touch. It's not gonna be enough for the Tidebringer. Oh. Just within range. Dark Mago able to find it. In fact, they found another. Yuragi, he's not making it out either. Thunder Awaken punishing OG. It opens up massively for the side of Thunder Awaken. They still haven't brought Pakas out at all. Pandamu, oh, BZM, no. Oh, no. He gets speared up. Pandamu setting up the perfect bait, and they go in for more now. They'll find Tiger on the Undying. John OG, they're the ones that, that are meant to have the momentum this game three. But they can't really force a fight. They're just not in position, slowly making their way over, but they may get caught with their pants down. Yuragi gets chained up. Perfect oh. setup from Matthew, but a great Fisher. Chu, he'll put an end to it. ATF makes the jump in. He'll man up with the BKB. It will wear off. He does get rather low and back himself up for a bit of a reset. Meanwhile, Yuragi dancing around this team fighter's Dark Mago, dropping low. BZM back in. That'll be the Kunkka gone. Aegis down, and now the Fisher. It'll cancel the TP off. The cars nowhere to go. Sunder there. He does find BZM, but it won't matter. The Sonic Wave takes him down. It's Dark Mago. He'll find a way up. They'll get Panda Moo in the mid lane. That's four down. OG. 
That's that OG magic we talk about, John. Finding a way back into this game. What do you need to do now? Thunder Away can slow this game down a little bit, keep the fight going. Never mind, OG, they're the ones to move in. Onto Dark Mago they go. BKB already forced out ATF. He doesn't really care though. He'll just keep moving in with the life break. Arena down. Matthew, he's the one in danger. They might just find themselves to support Rubik for now, but OG, they just want to keep going. They'll find another. That'll be Panda Moog gone. A two for one special. OG. Game 10 to 18. 2K lead for OG. Not the biggest. Dark class Mago. is still number one. Cops are stunned. Chu sitting up again. Chains will be there. The slope from the Shadow Strike as well. Dark Mago forced to pop the boat. BKB does pick up the double damage rune and immediately just TPs out. Meanwhile, Radiant Triangle in they jump. Matthew with the life break. It doesn't quite work that way, but ATF goes too far, gets taken out. Meanwhile, on the other side, Pandamu should be sacrificed and will be to Yuragi. Not a bad trade overall for either side, but ATF ends up going down for the sake of two supports. Pretty even if you ask me. Yeah, I'd say you're much happier in Thunder as well, though. Sacred getting jumped on BZM, wanting to keep forcing the fight. There's your fish around, Tiger. He'll get the tombstone down. Sacred surely drops. Eventually, water BZM in the backside. Dark Mago! Oh. Well, he'll have plenty of time to think about this one, John. In the mid. <laughs> Not take it. Dark Mago to drop. They, they, may, they feel a lot better now in OG. They find more kills off the back of the sacrifice that ATF makes. They've got a decent 3k lead, building up a little bit more. They Looping up once again, but there's a five, max, five man smoke from Thunder Awake, and they want to go for a team fight into the Aegis. They're going to find ATF on the Huska. Spear is there. Immediate jump in ATF. He'll get hexed up as well. They can't take him down, though. He's still alive. Torrent as well. ATF, Heels. he's just tanking everything. Eventually, though, does drop the Aegis. That'll be the first life. Matthew and Pandamu going down to the Sonic Wave. Is there by BZM. The car's still fighting. Gets the Sunder off. Gets the reset. Back onto Yuragi. They've got the Ember. Not too bad of a team fight, but the buybacks are there. Yuragi wants to keep the fight going. They'll find the Kunkka, they'll find the TB. Dark Mago, he'll be targeted. Pandamu healing him up. Shallow Grave out as well. Nobody dying from Thunder. They just want to back off and waste the buyback of Yuragi. But Sacred does get caught and does eventually get taken out. Meanwhile, ATF, however, dropping low. Does get X'd up. Back into the torrent. Lock him down. But the TB is not committing. Instead of the Jim the Echo Slam is there too. Setting up a great team fight. Now Pakas, he's out of mana. ATF, he wants to dive but won't go for it. Not risking it for now. Matthew, he'll keep fighting. Slider pistol on his end, but no damage. We'll keep going, trying to bait them forward. Fisher will be there. ATF won't make the jump in. Sacred, still chasing. Does have arena. Won't pop it quite yet, however. Remnants forward. Yuragi gonna try. Shallow Grave there, however, Matthew. He'll survive for now. Meanwhile, ATF, he's in trouble. The Ice Guard, he's slowing him down. The BKB, it'll be there to run through the arena. And they will retreat for now. OG, never mind, Yuragi, he's been caught out. No mana available, they might have the Ember on their hands here. Thunder could keep going. Yuragi trying to run, can't do it. Surely, oh. slide of fist there, but it's not gonna matter. And OG's in, not so much. Only two buybacks being available. Aegis is expiring, now the fight starts. Sacred, he's in with an arena, onto three targets. They've already got two down, that's one gone. No buyback available for the Earthshaker. It's now another arena. Catches out BZM. They've got the Quop in there, BZM. He'll pop the BKB. No follow-up out yet. So they got the Shaker down. Buyback being committed on the Rubik. It's ATF still trying to back off, but Pakas is on the chase. With the Iron Sky, he's slow. ATF in a bit of danger. Yuragi trying to slow down Pakas. And it's a Tiger. He'll be forced to drop the Tombstone, but does end up going down. Pakaz, now unstoppable. Yuragi, sticking around very low on mana. He's oh. going to cop the lift up. They've got the Ember. Yuragi will drop. Sonic Wave, not going to be there. Oh, they hex no. him up. Thunder Awaken. Here we go again. Awaken. A very nice scan out. OG know exactly where they are right now. They'll run right into him. Sacred. He'll be spotted first. Yuragi. We'll move into Dark Mago. Whoa, Amar? Whoa, Amar? ATF! He does take one out. Sacred, however, he's found Tiger. That'll be a one for one on the support. There is a buyback on Tiger. He's back into the team fight. Meanwhile, chains out onto the Wait, TB, no. but ATF, he's been caught out. He'll life strike away. Amar, can he make it? It doesn't look like it. He's down. Buyback's immediate, though. Back into the team fight. They come OG. They've still got their full team available. 
The Roshan are just so important, they can't let this one go down for freeze. BZM back in. Oh, it's a Dark Mago. There's your Sonic Wave. Dark Mago being caught out. Going down. Oh, now the Echo Slam! slam to try to save the day, but the Sunder is there in time for cars. Godlike now on the TB. Just quick hands on this Terra Blade. But Roshan has been started. OG trying to take the advantage while they can. Picaz, what's he going to do about this, John? He's got the refresher orb up. You've got the secondary meta. He'll move in by himself. Look at this Giga Chat. He doesn't care. Oh, like the Tiger Man ATF. He does move in. The, the Shallow Grape is there. Sunder. Who does he get? He bounces he out. What? Oh, he's alive. Can you believe that, Tiger? He's in big trouble. That's another down by Cars. He's just carrying this team by himself onto ATF. It's a dieback. In fact, never mind. That's the Aegis down. ATF, he's going to be careful. This is his last life available. ATF going to try and make it through. Can he make it? He's trying to fight. No, the another brain. Thunder. The Terra Blade. He's not dying. Back in again. ATF trying to man up. Maybe they've got him. They do. The buyback's available though. Does he buy back? They'll buy back on Sacred. The TB not committing yet. On the Conquer they go. Dark Mago. He does end up dropping. No buyback available on the Conquer. ATF. Even surprised me, John. Stealing the Aegis away mid-team fight. Gonna be a lot longer until Dark Mago is back up, and they need the Kunkka. Oh, He's the one OG, with the hex. They want tier four towers. They know the Kunkka's down for a minute. This is the opening. Here comes the crowd. The OG magic. It begins. Thunder awaken. One final chance, it seems, as Amar gonna avoid the speed jumps right in. He'll go for the man fight onto the Mars. It looks like Sacred will be dying back immediately. It's three down. OG, they may have just started. Oh, Echo pass. slam out. Two, he's got him. That's the cars. BKB out. Can he fight? He cannot. That's a climax. The game's over. OG have done it. OG have done it once again. Oh, How do they do God. it? They Every single time, how do they do it? They find a way, Mike. They find a way. Thunder, for their part, they hold on amazingly oh. well. They managed to take that mid set of racks when Kings just looked like it, it couldn't get any better for them. They were so far behind. They hold on to that game. They find some opportunities, but OG, oh. in the end, just managed to make it work. My heart, my heart uh, can't handle it. That was, I mean, that back and forth. That Roach fight looked like it could have gone either way. The Aegis take by Amar just kind of giving them that little edge to just make sure they found that win.